Psalms 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, as I bow down before you, Father God, I just come to tell you thank you. I come to thank you, Father God, for another opportunity to intercede on the behalf of your people. Now, Heavenly Father, I repent to you right now, Father God, asking that you would forgive me of all my sins, those that I've committed knowingly and unknowingly. Father God, forgive me of my unbelief, Father God. Forgive me of my impatience. Father God, restore in me, restore in me you like none other. Lord, I thank you tonight. I thank you for a divine savior, a divine intervention. I stand in the gap for every leader, Father God, that is under the umbrella. Father God, I stand in the gap for every member. I stand in the gap for every soul. For you said in your word that if we just keep our eyes on you, you'd be faithful and just to keep us in perfect peace. Now, Lord, I call forth peace in the midst of every storm. I call forth a refreshing in the midst of every drought. Now, Lord, I thank you that it's already done. As I lift up every household tonight as they slumber and sleep. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for brand new grace and I thank you for brand new mercy. Now, Lord, as I call the names that are on my prayer list, Heavenly Father, you know what they stand in need of. You know all the details. I'm just a vessel that you call to intercede on their behalf. Now, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for my household. You know what we stand in need of, Father God. You know what we're expecting of you, Father God. We're trusting and standing in faith and unity that it's already done. Lord, thank you for the patience. Thank you for the understanding. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the zeal. Thank you for the oil and thank you for the anointing to lead your people in such an hour as this. We give you glory tonight. We magnify your name, God. Now, Lord, I thank you and I glorify you. I stand in the gap, Father God, for Pastor Sharon Lockett. I stand in the gap for her household like never before. Father God, she will be the vessel that you are calling her to be in these last and evil days. I bombard heaven on her behalf right now that no weapon formed against her shall ever be able to prosper. I call forth a rejuvenation of her spirit right now in the name of Jesus as we walk through the corridors and the cracks of her dwelling place right now, Father God. We call forth peace. We release confidence. We release perseverance. We release boldness. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, as I stand in the gap for Pastor Pam on today, Father God, I thank you for the peace and the boldness. Now, Lord, I stand in the gap. Hallelujah that you give her more and increase her 
in our discernment towards you. More sensitivity to the spirit as she stand behind the sacred desk to lead your people. Now, Lord, I decree and declare that no weapon formed against her shall ever be able to prosper. I thank you, Father God, for humility. And it is so in Jesus' name. Now, Heavenly Father, I call forth your warring angels on behalf of Pastor Diani Faulkner. You know what she stands in need of. You know the petitions that she have up before you. Father God, lead, guide, and direct her as you release them right now. In the name of Jesus, as you say yes, where she's gotten many no's. Where you say approve, even where she's gotten denied. Lord, I thank you that you're covering her household even now. I thank you for every child shall line up according to her desires. I thank you that every grandchild shall be anointed and appointed in this hour. I thank you that she will be blessed and that she will stand in these last and evil days. Being the authentic pastor, Diani, that you called her to be. Lord, I give you glory that she hasn't given up. I give you glory and I magnify your name. That quitting is not an option. And it is so in Jesus name. Heavenly Father, I dispatch your angels of protection to rest on the Owens residence. Pastor Natasha Owens, in the name of Jesus. Overseer Varian Owens, in the name of Jesus. I request that you go in, Father God. Mop the floors with the oil of your supernatural existence. Give them peace that surpasses all understanding. Let them rest in your bosom, knowing that all things work together for the good. Lord, I thank you for the leaders. I call forth your warring angels at this time. For Minister Aisha and her family, standing in the gap, touching and agreeing that she should surpass everything that she even imagined she could do according to your will and your way. Now, Lord, I stand in the gap for, oh, Lord, Lady Tony and Lady Alexis and, oh, Lord, Lady Tamala, Father God, asking that you would increase them Increase their endeavors, increase their thoughts, increase their minds, increase their actions towards you like never before. Bless their households, bless their finances, bless their visions, bless their projects like never before. In Jesus' name. Now, Heavenly Father, as I lay prostrate before you tonight, I come decreeing and declaring that this is the ministry that you're calling for in these last and evil days. Asking that every leader will stand in such a time like this and that we will call forth what should be, even though it doesn't appear. You said in your word that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Now, Lord, yeah, you know, go sick, King. I make a declaration on behalf of your people that we shall live and not die. We shall be the lenders and not the borrowers. We shall be above and not beneath. We shall have victory and not defeat. We reject oppression. We reject depression. We accept joy. We accept love. We accept unity. We accept harmony. Father God, we thank you for calling us out to be only yours. And we give you the glory tonight. Now, Heavenly Father, I decree and declare that every word that you've spoken over our lives, every petition that has been put up before you on our behalf, that is pleasing to your sight shall manifest in this season. 
We thank you for a season of abundance. We thank you for a season of breakthrough. We thank you for a season of supernatural manifestation. We know that you, only you, can call it to be. Father God, we're leaning and depending on you and your word. Line on line, precept on precept. We thank you for peace. We thank you for joy. We thank you for you being our God. King of kings, Lord of lords. Our Jehovah Jireh. Our Jehovah Shalom. Our Jehovah Rapha. Our Jehovah Sikhanu. Our El Elohim. Our El Shaddai. The great I am. The great Jehovah our all in all. As I bow down before you tonight, God, I thank you for every marriage, every godly marriage. I cover it with your blood and protect it and shield it with your word. Let nothing separate us from the love of you. You said in your word what you have joined together. Let no man put us under. Lord, I thank you for calling us yours. I thank you for allowing us to be children of God. That we may be sons of God on tonight. I worship you. For you and you alone are worthy to be worshipped. I worship you for your faithfulness. I worship you for never leaving us and never forsaking us. I worship you for being there for us when we weren't there for ourselves. I worship you and I magnify your name for above, oh Lord, for your name is above all names. I thank you for strength tonight. I thank you. I thank you for strength tonight. Glory to your name, God. Thank you for visiting this place. This altar. We love you tonight, God. We call on your holy name. We worship you. We bow down before you. We will play prostrate at your feet. Hallelujah. We call you King of Kings, Lord of Lords. We lift up every service that this ministry is involved in, Father God. Let everything that we do be done according to your will and your way. Thank you, God. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your oil. We thank you for your precious Holy Ghost. Oh, Lord, we thank you for those who don't know you, Father God, in the pardon of their sins. Oh, Lord, we stand in the gap and plead for them right now, Father God, asking that you for forgive them for they know not what they do. Draw them close to you, Father God. Use us, Father God, to walk out your word, Father God, that we may be the vessels that you use in these last and evil days. We thank you, God. We thank you that your word reminds us that we can look to the hills from which cometh our help. We acknowledge that all our help cometh from you, Lord. 
the creator of all things, the creator of heavens, the creator of earth. Hallelujah. We thank you for your supernatural power. We thank you that you took the keys. That even hell has to bow at your feet tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you that we're standing on your word according to Psalms 121. That you will not allow our foot, (laughs) hallelujah, to be moved. That you would keep us. You never slumber nor sleep. Uh, Hallelujah. Thank you for being the God of Israel. Thank you for being the God. Hallelujah. Of the Gentiles. Thank you for being the God of mercy. Thank you for being the God of grace. Uh, Most of all, thank you for being the God of the backsliders. Uh, Thank you, God. We thank you, Father God. Thank you for the pressing on tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for being God. Our Savior, our intercessor. (laughs) Hallelujah. We thank you, God, the God of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. We magnify your name. We thank you tonight for peace. We thank you, Father God, that you're allowing our gifts to be sharpened in this hour. We thank you, Father God, that you're allowing our discernment to grow deeper in this hour. Thank you for deeper visions and revelations. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify your name, God. We glorify your name, God. We salute you tonight. We call you God. For you are God all by yourself. Heavenly Father, I magnify you. I glorify you for every child that's under this umbrella, Father God. Hallelujah for every upcoming prophet, preacher, teacher, apostle, evangelist, pastor. I lay them at your feet on tonight. I magnify your name. I glorify your name. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you. We receive life in our homes. We receive life in our minds. We receive life in our visions. We receive life in our dreams. We thank you for miracle signs and wonders. We thank you for healing. We thank you for deliverance. And Heavenly Father, we glorify you that we be in your will. We accept thy will and thy way. I lift up and call out do ministries to you tonight. Different on this night, God, I call out do ministries to you tonight. That we come together in unity, God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Fasting and praying, meditating on your word. Eating your word, dissecting your words, so that we may regurgitate it upon the hour, at the hour of appointed time. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I glorify you. I magnify you. I lift you up. Now, Lord, I thank you that every petition that has went up before you is already done. I thank you for coming in. I thank you for the visitation of your sweet spirit. And it is so in Jesus' name. Amen.